Good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning here. Not exactly sure what time it is when you guys will be catching this video, but good morning. Good morning. I have my coffee um, and we're going to talk tarot today, which I'm so excited to talk about. I do have a puppy that looks like I just got his attention. He always does this when I start talking to the camera. Anyhow, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I like to choose, just like I'd like to choose a journal for the year, I also like to choose a tarot deck for the year. And last year I chose the Raven's Prophecy and it was amazing just working with that one deck for the entire year. I really got to know the deck. Um, so this year, I decided that I was going to choose, and I have not opened it yet, so I'll be opening it right now on camera to show you guys my reaction, which I know it's gonna be amazing because I've already seen reviews of this deck. Um, but this is the Forest of Enchantment Tarot. I'm so freaking excited. You guys know how much I love trees. And this year I have plans of working with animal medicine. So there'll be more of that to come, but this is the tarot deck. I'm hoping to get an Oracle deck that I also work with this year that is specific to the animal um, world. So I will keep you guys posted if I end up doing that. And let me just say, these are my new blue blocker glasses. If you guys aren't familiar with blue blocker, I really feel like they have helped me with headaches. Now, this is my second pair that I've owned. The first pair was a, was a cheap pair I got off Amazon. Chase, go lay down, go lay down, okay? Go lay down. All right, hang on just a second. Okay, back to business. Um, second pair of blue blockers. These are from the company Diff, D-I-F-F. -F. They are not sponsoring this video. I paid for these with my own money. Amazing. I like these so much better than the other ones. So check them out. I think they have a special going on right now, like buy one, get one or something like that. But check them out. They're amazing. Okay, back to Tara. I'm so excited about this deck. So what drew me to this deck originally was the fact that it had trees, like it's got the green, it has a forest vibe. And also, in addition to the foresty vibe, there's a magical element. I mean, there's always a magical element when you're talking about tarot, but I just felt like the images that I saw online were very, I mean, you look at there, like it just has this like extra magical element. Okay, we're gonna open this. All right, I love the box, beautiful box. Very similar box to the Raven's Prophecy. I think it's done by the same company like who puts it out. And just like the Raven's Prophecy, there is a gorgeous book here. Oh my gosh, this is thick. Your Path Through the Enchanted Forest by Lun Lunea Weatherstone. This is a really thick reference book. There's magic deep in the woods between the rushing brook and the sun dappled glade. When you're ready, shuffle the cards and begin your journey. And look, it's in color. Like each of the cards, see the magical element that I'm talking about? They've got the cards pictured and then a little bit about them. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I love this. I cannot wait to read this book. I am taking this to Art Lockdown and I'm gonna be working with it for the first time at Art Lockdown, which I'm thrilled about. Same kind of um, box, like exactly as The Raven's Prophecy. And if you guys wanna check that one out, oh, that's really pretty. The swan in the back. That's by Maggie Steifotter and it was a great, I, I thought it was a great first deck to play with. Um, and once again, it had an animal element. I mean, I was attracted to the raven, the idea of the raven. Okay, let's see if I can 
open this deck and I will be cleansing it and doing all that before I leave in a couple days for Art Lockdown. Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay, so that's the back with the owl. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to work with Animal Magic this, this year. I'm gonna be doing my year ahead spread at Art Lockdown. And I think if I can pick up a animal or gold deck, I'm thinking I'm gonna pick an animal to work with each month too. So, all right, so that's the back. I'm just like, I just love feel it, feeling it in my hands. We're just gonna flip through a couple here. Cause I'm not, this is not like a review. This is just showing you what I'm choosing to work with. Now they are different. So like this is black shuck. So it's gonna be a little more complicated for me as a new tarot reader but I'm excited about the challenge because they different things represent different of the original cards sunlight oh my gosh look how pretty these are stunning just stunning I love that one five of challenges so you have five you have the challenges boons what else do you got here? Spells. Yeah, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, they're so pretty. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Keeper of Visions. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so that's the deck that I chose for 2021 to work with. Um, now I'm thinking I should probably have made me myself because with the Raven's Prophecy, I made a case, like I knitted a case to hold them. And I don't have one for that. I wonder if I have the stuff to do it before I go to our lockdown. Hmm. The ideas are, are running in my head right now. Okay, next thing that I wanted to share that does have to do with tarot. I mentioned it briefly in my journals for 2021. Um, my journal stack, this, and this came in the mail last week, the tarot journal. I really think this is going to help me as a newbie because it has, let me show you, it has a good chunk in the beginning. Basically, this part is all talking about tarot and sharing information. And so, and it goes through the minor arcana, reverse cards. This is the tarot journal that is the coloring book um, from the Coloring Book of Shadows by Amy Cesari. And it goes through and describes everything. So I think this is gonna help, specifically working with a deck that has different names than the original tarot names. Um, You've got wands, cups, swords, pentacles, whereas this has boons, spells, and I already forget the other ones. So I'm very excited. I'm excited to dive into this. I do have, I don't know if I have it here. I think I have it here. I am already obsessed with her, the same author's um, planner for a magical year. This is the Coloring Book of Shadows planner for magical 2021. And I have found my specific style of coloring and using it and everyone's different, but I am completely, let me just show you, like here's a little bit about sun and I've gone over and kind of sketched it with a ballpoint pen. I will come back with watercolor. This was last week and I will go back in with watercolor and color a little bit more. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with the coloring. And when I saw that the same author had a tarot journal, I thought it would be perfect because she also has places for you to write your notes on your different spreads. And you can write in your spreads here. She's also got ideas. I know I just saw it. Ideas for creating tarot spreads. 
and different layouts. So I'm very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not like, it's not technically like journaling or planning, but tech, but I mean, it kind of is. And this year it's all about magic for me. My word is behold. And to me, it's just, it's all about the beauty amidst the chaos, the magic, the sacred. So I'm very, very thrilled to have a new deck to work with, a new journal, a tarot journal to kind of help me stay focused and get to know this deck better. Yeah, let me know if you guys pick a deck for the year um, or what deck you're currently working in. What decks are your favorites so far? This is my second deck that I have owned. I own the Raven's Prophecy and I own this. I also had a Rider Waite, um, but passed that along. So currently I own these two decks. And I know that there's a whole group of people that, I, I'm not gonna get into the materialism of collecting decks. I did have a special bond with my deck, so I'm not ready to give it away, The Raven's Prophecy, but I do love picking a new one each year. So, so far that's worked for me and that is what I'm gonna continue to do and that's how I will grow my own personal tarot collection. Um, but who knows, we'll see where that leads. Okay, until next time, enjoy your wild, sexy lives.